Back your point. So, uh, we plant and water, but God who gives, it's God who gives the increase. A lady I know from church asked me one Sunday if I was still involved with men's ministry. When I told her I was, she gave me the name of a downtown businessman and asked me if I would contact him. Well, that was something I loved doing. Soon after, I called him and invited him to an outreach meeting in downtown St. Louis. I did not know this man uh, was the lady's son-in-law and that her entire family was praying that he would come to Christ. Well, we went to lunch and nothing seemed to have happened. I invited him to, uh, to a one-on-one -on -one lunch and again, he agreed to go. As we chatted and discussed the first, uh, the first lunch we went to, he expressed his ill feelings about religion in church, and, but to my surprise, he agreed for his son's sake to meet with me to discuss the Bible. One thing he told me that shocked me was that prior to getting married, he told his wife to be that his business and his role there would be more important thing, more important thing in his life, uh, even beyond her. God moved very swiftly in his life, and he became a Christian. In just a matter of weeks, he was growing like wildfire. <laughs> After four or five weeks we met, we had a verse uh, or two we would memorize each week. Several weeks into this part of the session, for no apparent reason, his boss from corporate showed up and told him he was being relieved of his management role. To say the least, he was devastated. The one of his first thoughts was to call his mentor, me, for help. This was before cell phones, and I was out of town. He wasn't sure where to go. Did the Lord brought to his mind the verse we had just memorized, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Leave that on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways, and he will direct your paths. When I got back, he filled me in. Uh, it all happened. He said that everyone in his office, including himself, was astonished by his response and reaction to losing what he thought he had held so high. We both, both learned a great number of things. We lived out our story. Uh, through a series of events over the few months, we saw the impact God has on our lives as we began to learn and practice the truth he is teaching us, and the most important one, how faithful he is. It was good that I wasn't there. I didn't have to be there. But the crisis occurred, God was there. That's who he turned to. It's still doing so today, after about 30 years. <clears throat> that young boy that was mentioned has grown up to godly, <laughs> a godly young man, married with three children, and he's bringing it up to, to learn to love God as well. Thanks, Charlie.